We might have a problem. We'll just work quickly. With a child. Okay, we're back. Oh, sucks. Oh, buddy. Be good to me. So, our baby is over there cruising and being really, really good. So we're gonna try and do a really quick cooking segment. I don't have a whole lot of ingredients, but we're gonna work with it because that's how we do it. Our main ingredient is a mu. This is super prized fish here in Hawaii. It's delicious. It's one of the hardest fish to spear, that's for sure. These fish are super elusive, really smart, and they make you hold your breath for a long time. Buddy, you can do it. You can work through that. He's not working through it. Does that make you feel better? That's it, try it, try it. Is that good? All right. Okay, so we have half of our fish scale. Gonna quickly, very quickly, because when you have a baby, you're always on borrowed time. And a lot of people wouldn't take this step of scaling the fish because I'm gonna fillet it anyway. I don't know, just a personal preference. You don't have to though. Fish glitter. Oh, his binky fell out again. We might have a problem. We'll just work quickly. I'll be right there, buddy. Okay, sorry if my hands smell like fish guts. Put the fish guts in the compost, it's gonna make great soil. For the most part, this is how I would fillet any, any fish. Fresh water, salt water, big or small. Today's, um, today's recipe is so simple. I really like to cook simply, and so I'm just gonna keep it real because this is all I had to work with. And rather than go out and buy ingredients to try and make a video of showing some elaborate food prep, we're just keeping it how we would really do it. And simple is often kind of best when it comes to cooking, in my opinion. So we have all of our um, fish pieces here. Salt and pepper them. I think when you're cooking simple, the main thing to keep in mind is when you're cooking simple, you're using just a few ingredients. So make sure that they're really, really good quality ingredients. So right now I know my fish is excellent quality because it was just, just speared and it's as fresh as it gets and it's one of my favorite fish. Um, salt, I think, is just one of the absolute main components. You know, it's, salt is kind of everything in cooking. I love salt. But, um, so if you're gonna use salt, especially if it's one of the few ingredients you're gonna use, Make it a really good salt. This salt, well, I think is hand harvested right here on the North Shore in Haleiwa. And I just love it. You know, I love a salt that that is coarse but flaky. Not necessarily just uniform cook, cookie cutter shapes, but but different, um, different variations in the textures and sizes of the flakes. And that you can actually kind of, you know, feel when you bite into it and taste it. Fresh pepper is a must. Again, nice, chunky, irregular shapes and sizes, but also that flavor is being released right now as it cracks open those pepper coins. You're good, buddy. Hit. Yeah, he's working through it. No, he's not. Buddy! We're back. I'm just gonna cook this really simply with a lot of garlic. So again, know which ingredients you're gonna use and really use them. I'm not looking for uniform pieces for this particular recipe. I'm going so garlic heavy that I'm gonna just go chunky. I'm gonna put my garlic in with the fish, really let it cook through, brown, crisp up. And so, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep it really big chunky and um, irregular. 
Okay, so for citrus, I just have some limes that my sister brought by. So that's what we're gonna use. Normally I would use lemon, but I love limes too. And then I just picked this beautiful fruit um, from my chiropractor's yard actually. And I'm pretty sure this is a blood orange, which I've just never, never used before. So I'm excited. And it's not, it's an orange, I think. I don't know if that's a blood orange, because I think blood orange is supposed to be red. Darn, I was hoping I was right. It's okay. We're gonna use orange and it'll be awesome. It smells really good. So just use what you have. That's the theme of today. Um, I do have some garlic chives growing in the ground over there. Chives, just put it in the ground and now there's so many. This is not our dog. Uh, uh. We are so ready to cook. We have everything we need. Okay, let's do this. Oh, shucks. Let's try not. He's so wet. How, what do you think of all of this, buddy? It's like a bath. <laughs> Nobody said it would be easy. I think you're pretty good, huh? I wish your dad could hold you in film at the same time. Cover your little head, buddy. Be good to me. Well, everything got rained on, but that's okay. Oh, we got some olive oil. So this, this fish fry station came with this house. Super sweet and cute old Japanese woman used to live here. And so I think it was built more for her size than it is mine. But what I love about it is that when it rains, like how it just did, and you're frying fish out here, the rain's not going to get into your oil and cause a disaster. You can keep going. So that's what we're going to do. And our oil is, is hot. To see if the oil is high enough, I just put a piece of food in there and hear it sizzle. You can kind of see it shimmer though, but that's a, always the best test is to try it, right? Cool. Add in our chives. Add our garlic. That's a lot of garlic. <clears throat> Moo is such a beautiful fish. It is incredible. So that's what I want. Basically, I have some really, really nice crispy brown garlic now. And now before it burns, I'm going to hit it with some liquid with those citruses. Have some lime. And I'm really hitting every single piece. And the thing about um, citrus is it has acid, and so it's going to deglaze the pan, meaning that all that flavor that gets stuck to that pan is now going to come off into the sauce itself. If you wanted to do white wine, you could do white wine. If you wanted to add capers, by all means, go for it. But um, like I said, I'm just using what I have. I love um, how the garlic is just so brown. It's a different flavor than, than just sauteed garlic. And I'm going to hit every piece with some lovely crispy garlic. And, you know, and, and now it's just totally infused and there's like this 
this olive oil, you know, sauce of a sweet orange juice and nice lime. That all has just kind of concentrated together. You just want to put that right on your fish. Oh my gosh. So see how flavorful, simple can be. Once you see it starting to brown, that's when you might want to turn down your heat, start pulling your fish off. Any of the darker spots you see, that's actually the chives. But all of our garlic is just perfectly, perfectly brown and crispy. And so it's gonna add a really nice texture too, not just flavor. But here we go, look at that. We have this beautiful moo that we're able to go out and spear. And it's just seasoned with garlic, chives from the ground, lime from my sister, orange that I snatched from my friend's yard thinking it was a different type of orange. And it has just created a very, very simple, easy dish, um, which for me right now, as you can see, is extremely important because with a crying baby and a million things to do at once, um, simple is what I need and simple is delicious. Thank you so much for joining our family in our kitchen and in our backyard. And if you like these little cooking videos we're doing, please subscribe.